Welcome back to the Mad Dogs Barbecue Co. channel. It is almost turkey time. So we're out here, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to narrow down my two turkey recipes for this year's Thanksgiving. I love being able to cook for Thanksgiving and Christmas with all family and friends coming over, and I love feeding everybody and just seeing the look on their face from the delicious food. So we're going to get to that today with our first one. So I went down to our local grocery store and picked out some turkey breast. Now for Thanksgiving, I am going to do a whole turkey. This just gets us narrowed down for our recipe and how we're going to flavor these turkeys up. So let's get on with the video. I'm gonna go ahead and glove up here. These turkey breasts were frozen. They have been thawed. My drawer here, and grab a knife where I can cut this bag off, just like this. Throw that to the side, we'll clean that up later. All right, so we've got our turkey out of our bag. It is looking beautiful. You go have one of them little plastic thermometers in there. This tells you when it's going to be done. We're just going to get rid of that. Throw it in the trash. We don't need that where we're going. So right now, we are going to get to adding some flavor to this bird. I'm just going to drop everything today. So I've got some olive oil spray here. I'm just going to coat this down. It's going to help crisp up that skin. Not give it a rubbery texture to it. Get a nice coating all over this little bird here. I'm just going to kind of lift this skin. I took my glove off too early. That's all right. This is why we practice for turkey day. I'm just going to lift this skin just a little bit. You just get in there and just pull it away from that breast. Just like that. Try not to poke through it. Same thing on the other side. Lift it away just a little bit. Just get that skin pulled a little bit away. That way we can add some flavoring directly to that breast. And it's all not sitting on top of that skin. So we've got our olive oil already coated on there. So what I want to do is now I'm going to remove this glove. Once again, gloves ain't cheap. And we go through a lot of them. Start out with our SPOG that is salt pepper, onion, garlic, and it's got a little parsley in there for color, so it's going to make everything pretty. Now, we're not injecting these birds. I want to run this year without injecting, and I'm just going to take that skin we lifted up, and I'm just going to throw some seasoning right down in that hole that we made with the skin. Get it all nice and rubbed around in there. I'm going to come back with some Cajun two-step. This is the fire. If you have not tra tried it, go out and try it. It is delicious. It can be found in most stores now. Let's go get a nice coating down in there. Get it all nice and rubbed around. Get some flavor on that breast meat. Same thing with the other side. Go in with our SPOG. Just like that. And turn around. We're going to add some of this two-step down in there. Pour a little bit down in that hole. Just like that. All right. So now, we can close this one back up. And flip her on around. Sit down. I'm going to throw a little bit more olive oil spray on this. This is also going to help your rubs to stick. Just like that. Now, for the outside of this bird, same thing. We're going to go with our SPOG. Look at that parsley giving it some color. Looking good. Don't be shy with this. It's not too salty. Not too peppery. It's just right. When everybody puts my turkey in their mouth, I want them to taste it. I want them to taste all them flavors. Now, we're going to go back with our Cajun two-step. 
all over the side. Now this is the fire, so it's gonna have a little heat to it, just like that. And them reds in there is gonna pull some beautiful colors on this bird. Don't be scared of it. That's a lot of meat to season up. All right, we have our bird all seasoned up. I'm gonna run these on the Traeger at 300 degrees. They're gonna go about two and a half hours at 300 degrees. You might say, well, that's a little hot, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna help crisp up this skin so it's not nice, it's not too rubbery. And I'm gonna pull it about 155, 160, and let it rest and come up to 165 there. That way, nothing gets dried out. There's nothing worse than a dry turkey breast. Feels like you're chewing on jerky for the rest of the time. But let's get this into the Traeger, and we'll be back. All right, our beautiful Cajun turkey breast is off of the smoker. This thing looks and smells amazing. And I'm gonna get in here and get us a little bite off this. Skin, super crispy. Get that nice smoke ring. Juicy, look at that. That's what you wanna see right there. That nice crisp skin on there, nothing rubbery. Let's get in here and get us a bite. That is so good. Mm. That is the juiciest, tenderest turkey. Skin's nice and crispy. Flavor is out of this world. Man. I run that every day. That's delicious. First thing, it's super hot, so I didn't get a good bite, but it kind of should have cooled off by now because it's cold here. We're swinging from 70s to Antarctica, South Carolina. It's wonderful. But let's get in and get us another bite. That's so good. Now all I need is a big plate of dressing. Some macaroni and cheese, maybe a little cranberry sauce to go with that. And we got some money. And then right before we go and shopping on Black Friday, make us a big old sandwich and we gone. But that concludes this video. I hope y'all have a great Thanksgiving. Hope everybody's getting prepared to have friends and family over. And just enjoy some time, kick back and relax. Make you one of these delicious Cajun turkeys with the Cajun two-step fire. If you don't like it so spicy, you can go ahead and grab the regular, but we like it spicy around here. We'll be back with the next one. See y'all.